Hi, welcome to the next lesson in developing spatial thinking. Today we're going to be going over rotations about a single axis. So let's jump right in and see what a problem looks like when we're dealing with rotations about a single axis. So initially what we're given is an original object position, and that's usually centered at the origin. Then we're also given some axis and a direction around which we rotate on that axis. From that we can then essentially tip over the object or push it across that axis, and that gives us our object of rotation. So it's dissimilar to what we saw in Solids of Revolution. In Solids of Revolution, we had a curve, and we were revolving that curve 360 degrees around a single axis. What we're dealing with in rotations about a single axis is that we're only pushing the object 90 degrees over, and we're only rotating about a single axis. We're also not drawing out a solid from that curve. We're simply pushing the object over. So let's see what it looks like when we rotate positively and negatively. So you can see our original object position on the far left of the slide. You can see in the center illustration that we're positively rotating the object on the z-axis. Notice again that we're only incrementing by 90 degrees. The way that we notate that is with a positive z symbol surrounded by an arrow rotating counterclockwise. A negative z rotation, or a rotation around the z-axis that decrements 90 degrees, is represented by a negative z symbol with a clockwise arrow surrounding. Finally, we're going to look at a real quick identity when it comes to rotating three times around a single axis. So you'll notice our original object position in the top, and then we've got a single rotation around the x-axis, we've got two rotations around the x-axis, and then finally we have three rotations around the x-axis. Notice these are all positive rotations around the x-axis, but also notice that the final illustration is essentially a negative rotation around the x-axis. Because we're incrementing by 90 degrees each time, our final rotation of the x-axis is going to equal 270 degrees. Now if we were to subtract 90, that would be the same thing as rotating 270. So that identity is illustrated here. Three negative z rotations in this example equals a single positive z rotation. That's going to wrap up our module regarding rotation about a single axis. The next module that we'll look at is going to be rotations about multiple axes.